I think that is so relatable to people, that example of getting the car and being frustrated and going, Arr! and then it messes with your day, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a car, right? It could be right. any, any right. situation that just, and it throws your day off. And I love the, the idea, and I've done it, and I personally have done this. I'm like, you know what, sometimes it's just, it's just not worth the fight, right? It's not worth the, the inner struggle. So I, I love that. So you guys, this is a really great opportunity for you to wake up in the morning and change and choose to be, to be, choose to be. I love that. Right. Well, so, it, you know, it's about being your bigger you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's about, we all have these, we've heard the phrases, the smaller you, are you being the small or are you being bigger? And some people look at that bigger you and think logistics and numbers and lists. That's not what I'm talking about here. When I say it's about being your bigger you, I mean it's that person that you always want to be. It's that person that, you know, if you think about it, if, if when you pass away, what do you want people to say about you? It's that more expansive, welcoming, open person if that's who you want to be. Now, if you want to be curmudgeon and angry and, you know, somebody that's confrontational all the time, well, then that's who you choose to be. <laughs> but, but my point here is, most people go through their day and they just let their day happen to them. And I work with purpose-driven entrepreneurs. And in order to be purpose-driven, you have to, have to be able to be conscious about the choices that you make and you take 100% responsibility for the outcomes in your day. And if you take 100% responsibility for the outcomes that you have in your day, then you also have to take accountability for how you respond to things that are going on in your day too.